hi guys you're welcome back to my channel please subscribe singer terms has decided to go on hunger strike after being arrested and handcuffed by the ugandan police for breaking the coral rules by coming to their country to perform in a concert in a video clip now making rounds on social media you could hear the singer talking to the ugandan authorities that she don't want to eat and you can't force food down her throat she also said she has been like this for the past 48 hours and she continued to go hungry if she don't get released <laughs> Following the arrest of Ninja singer Omale and Thames alongside his manager. Grammy Award nominee and superstar musician Bona Boy has reacted over the arrest of Niger singer Omale and Thames. Reacting to this in a tweet, he wrote, They should not be treated like this. At Ugandan police, they were invited for a show organized by your citizens, granted visas, tickets were sold publicly on the world website. Bonoboy also went further to explain that if they want to arrest anybody, they should arrest the show organizers because apparently tickets were sold on the world website and the immigration officers are granted a visa for this same show with the hashtag free or Malay, hashtag free terms. So far, our superstar musician have been coming out to lend their voice for the release of singer Omale and Thames, who are currently in Ugandan police custody and have been on trial in the Ugandan Supreme Court. Also, following the arrest, superstar musician Wizkid Ayo has tweeted hashtag free Thames, hashtag free Omale, heartbreaking, free my people and bring them home safe. Wizkid, you try. While we are still waiting for other Niger musicians to react, Rema has also lent his voice out. Nigerian singer songwriter Rema has tweeted Free Omole, Free Thames, Uganda, and you all are breaking my heart on God. Heartbreaking emoji, Nigerian government, speak up. While we are still waiting on others to react or comment, I don't want to call names, but yeah, it is really important because their own is in trouble and yeah, they should come out in their numbers with the hashtag so the Nigerian government can at least pick up and request for their release immediately. Has the matter where they ground, see they ground, they look for how we we'll take solve them and how we we'll take bring back these people. A Nigerian man identified as Adejare Ibrahim has come out to write an open letter to the Ugandan government following the arrest of Omale alongside Thames. In the letter, he wrote, open letter from Nigeria to Uganda. Dear President Yorowi Museni, I write on behalf of millions of Nigerians. The Omole you arrested in Uganda is one of the numerous lawbreakers we have in Nigeria. Oh my God. Who sent you? On behalf of millions of Nigeria, who sent you? Another one is Shen Kuti, who threatened to go on a duel with any security agency that attempts to arrest him without warrant. President Buhari has shown enormous tolerance by overlooking their excesses and many criminal activities which we think they are abusing and taking for granted. A Yoruba adage says, a bastard that falls to that fails to take to take to training and corrections at home will be taught bitter lessons from outside.
Hmm. Wala be like bicycle. Saying this, he went further to say, the Omale you arrested with the other guy with that shoe. With that shoe, Omale and the other guy you arrested for flaunting the laws of Uganda. Help us teach him that it is wrong to break government rules. I can assure you that many Nigerians, especially the youth, are happy with the current development. Treat him the exact way you treat all those who flaunt the coral laws in your country, Uganda. Sir Museni, if it warrants meeting out corporal, corporal punishment lashes of king, hmm, wow, to this uh, recalcitrant Omalay in your custody, don't hesitate to do so. We will be so delighted. By fire, by force, this lawless Oro Osuke <laughs> Nigerian youth must receive sense. Uganda and Nobit Niger. God bless President Yoweri Museweni. May Uganda succeed. May Nigeria succeed. So far, Nigerians are not in support of what Adejare Ibrahim has come out to say that Omale and um, Thames should be punished severely by the Ugandan government. If it needs flogging them with cane, they should do so. They should treat them as hardened criminals because they are breaking the Koro rules. And Nigeria is not, Uganda is not Nigeria. I mean, you shouldn't have said this. This is just so harsh. It's just so, it's too much. These guys did not go there on their own. They were invited. For Christ's sake, they were invited. This show has already been sold out. He just came and sing to cheer the fans. So he is not the organizer of the show. They should have arrested the organizers of the show instead. Why will you organize a show at this time and period? Not arresting um invited guests. Because apparently Omale is like an invited guest. It's just like every other um, person in the crowd that came out to, to watch the show. Mm -hmm. It's the organizers that are supposed to be arrested for this, for organizing this show. And you, a Nigerian man, coming out to say your own should be punished in another man's land. This is really so heartbreaking. It is just too much. It's unfair, actually. You shouldn't have said this. Mr. Adejare Ibrahim. Nigerians has come out in their numbers to show Mr. Adejare Ibrahim for coming out to say trash against their very own Omale, fast rising star Omale and Thames. The situation we are still trying to manage and see how we can get them out of the Ugandan custody because according to the Ugandan Act, they said if find guilty at the court after being tried on the December 16th, they will be thrown into the Ugandan prison for seven years for this crime. So guys, please pray for Omale, pray for terms and hope as we hope that Buhari, Nigerian President Muhammadu Buhari, speak up and request for their release immediately. Because as we know, the president will get not to the put mouth for all these kind of things. I think they feel say this kind of things not to consign them. It's always silent and it's not acting up immediately. So we could just pray. And help with our hashtags free or Malay hashtag free stems in Uganda that will go a long way so guys drop your comments below the comment section is down below if this is your first time of being here please check below see the comment um the subscription button below click on the rest subscription button below and subscribe to this channel also do not forget to turn on the bell icon so you get notified each time I upload a new video